Hi guys, welcome to another edition of AV8 Bear with me, Carl. Uh, today we're going to look at weight and balance or mass and balance and uh, how it's important before you go flying to get it right. This links to two previous videos I did. Uh, one was BFR flight planning and the other video was fuel planning. The first sheet that I'm going to use is the uh, weight and balance sheet from the pilot's operating handbook and it basically works out the centre of gravity in inches after the datum. Now the datum is usually in small aircraft, the firewall, which is in between the engine and behind the instrument panel. First piece of information I'm going to give and my weight is 174 pounds. Next is the passenger. So if you are flying with someone, then it's always important to ask them how heavy they are, uh, just so that you can put it into your calculations. So for this example, I'm gonna say the, pa the person who is with me is gonna be 160 pounds and sit seat in position four. And if we go down one, two, three, four, that's what I need to calculate it by. Baggage is the next thing, and we've got a zero in for baggage. And then we've got our fuel. Now, the Tomahawk has usable fuel of 180 pounds. We usually have to do is work out the litres of how many litres you're going to need, uh, and then convert it into pounds, into weight. We need to know how much fuel goes into the aircraft and how heavy it is. So we need to know the specific gravity of Avgas. And if you Google it, you'll find it 0 0.72. Then what we need to do is work out how much fuel is going in there, so into the tanks. So we can say 64 litres. And we need to times that by 0 0.72. And that gives us 44.8 kilograms. Then we need to convert it to pounds which gives us 99 pounds. After doing that calculation all I've got to do is put 99 pounds into this side. So next we get our calculator and we times the weight by the arm and we get an answer. So 1200 times 74.3 is 89160 and we do the same for the rest. Now once that's complete all we have to do is add up each column and we get the total weight 
So 1,200 plus 174 plus 160 plus 99. So 1633. So that's my total weight. And we can see it's within the maximum takeoff weight. So it's less than 1,670 for the Piper Tomahawk. And we do the same for the moment. We get one two four nine zero three point two. Then what we do is we come down here and we work out this equation. So the center of gravity position equals the total moment divided by the total weight. So we do one two four nine zero three. We can put point two on there if we want. Divided by one six three three. So it's 76.5. Checking the C of G position versus the weight on the graph, we get our weight and balance graph. And we need these two numbers. So 76.5 and 1633. So we look up the side. 1,633 or thereabouts so that's 1,700 so I would say about there 1,633 and 75 point sorry 76.5 which is this 76 that's 77 so it's about there And we get the ruler. Draw a line up and across. So we can see from this that we aren't far off our maximum takeoff weight in the envelope because the envelope finishes up here and we are within the limits of the aircraft. If it was too far this way, so this side of the envelope, then the weight will be shifted towards the rear. If it's this side of the envelope, then it will be shifted towards the nose wheel. And if the aircraft is outside limits, you shouldn't go flying. You need to make sure that it's in the envelope. So from Col at Aviate Bear, hope you found this really useful and safe flying. If you like the video, please subscribe below for more videos and hit that like button. Take care, see you soon.